What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed! That means two things, either you're new or you're returning, and hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today! The new goal for this channel is 400,000 subscribers, and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button. I can feel it rising. I can feel it. Ah! Keep hitting the subscribe button. Keep doing it. One day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers. So hit that subscribe button today. What's up everybody, Steven Zekiller here for another reaction, and it is time. It has been such a long journey since the drop of Hasbro Hotel's pilot. There's been so many things awaiting this show's dropping, and it's finally here. Uh, I'm excited. So, I do know on Amazon Prime, there's up to, I believe, I saw on Twitter, there's like four episodes released on uh, on Amazon Prime, but this is episode one, and it's available right now on Vizipop's channel. So I don't think I'll have probably a tough time reacting to this one. I do have plans to react to the uh, the rest uh, the rest of the series, but I may have to do alterations. I may have to do alterations to this video. I don't know yet. I will be doing some upload. I will upload this video the way it is. If I have any issues, I may have to re-format uh, the way everything is. Like, if you guys see the screen change, uh, an overlay, a separation, the volume of the video is low, that kind of stuff. I have prepped myself to have uh, ways to do that. So, anyways. Uh, and I may have an un unedited version uh, up on my OnlyFans of every episode. When it comes to this, these reactions, what I may do is I'm just going to upload the raw f uh, files of these over on OnlyFans that you guys can enjoy. Uh, yes, you may. Uh, oh, OnlyFans. I don't really uh, promote it as much because YouTube is uh, against OnlyFans and I can't even have the link for it in my description anymore kind of situation. Only reason I did that was for anime reactions and I was just using it as... I know there's Patreon and all that stuff, but I tried Patreon in the past. It didn't work out well. And I tried OnlyFans and it worked out better. It was very simple to use OnlyFans. But either ways, I may change things in the future. I don't know. Uh, people have been asking me if I would consider still doing Patreon in the future, but I don't know if I want to deal with that. And uh, right now, as an archive, I'll keep all these videos on standby, and maybe if I decide to change things up, I may change things up. I don't know yet. If you guys want to support me that way, there's the options, but you will have to wait until the link pops up on my Discord over uh, instead of on YouTube, because YouTube literally will block the link to any OnlyFans link at all. Because they basically consider it as a, as a link to 18 plus content. Which, yes, a lot of people think of it that way. But you can use it for other means. Because it's just like Patreon. But it has a bad reputation because of what has happened on the platform. I use it for reactions and stuff like that. That you guys may not be able to get because of YouTube's BS. So, anyways, let's get into this. Finally watching the first episode of Hasbun Hotel. The link for uh, this episode will be down below in the description. Show your support by liking and subscribing to Vizipop. Uh, so seriously, congrats on everything you guys have been working for. And it's finally time to enjoy the show. Alright, let's get it. Ooh. I didn't even think about this. We, we're going to get an intro? Ooh! I like it. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Angels that worshipped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. Oh, that was a creepy face. Hold up. Did all from evil. <laughs> that is one creepy ass face. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. 
but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven, for they felt mm. his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as yeah. the began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith, equals as the first of mankind, but despite this, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse. For with no. a single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. But Lilith thrived. Wow, okay. Empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision. That every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained. And her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the princess hey. of hell. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. I generally want to see Charlie's power. I really want to see her power in the show. Like, she's no pushover of a demon. And I, I would love to see what would happen if she goes all out in a sense. Even though I know she doesn't want, she would probably not want that. I wish there was a moment where she had to use her power and we got to see some extent to it. Charlie? Oh, oh shit. Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was right there. Sorry. I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. The story helps. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. I enjoy your theatrics. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just thinking, you know, family stuff. Did you hear from your mom yet? Oof. How long has it been now? Not that long. Only seven years off doing something important, I'm sure. But this kingdom was something she really hmm. cared about. Something I care about. Well, at least you aren't alone. I just hope what I'm trying to do here will work. It will. I have faith in you. Right, oh, Alistair says he has something to show us. Okay. So technically, I, and I, I don't know the full details of like how how canon the pilot is, but I believe it's uh, I believe they stated on Twitter that it is technically canon. And with that, Alistair already being in here and and, and part established and stuff. So interesting. Okay. sexual nature of course you do that's why you're in yeah. hell but what would you say if i told you there was a place to stay that had none of that welcome to the has been hotel a misguided path to redemption founded five days ago by lucifer's delusional daughter charlotte morningstar Come damn your fate in her inexperience oh my god <laughs> her daddy issues by why <laughs> alistair as somewhat functional staff and 24 hour pest control custom rooms yeah. and just look at this tacky parlor enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident wow all this and more at the has been hotel your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here so what do you think i'm sorry what the fuck was that uh, yeah. <laughs> one note Alistair, I mean, first off, thank you so much for making this seriously amazing. But, um, maybe the tone is a bit off. We want people to want to come here. This makes it look, um... Shoddy as fuck. Bad. 
The word you're looking for is bad. Funny, I was going for hilarious. It didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. Vaggy is right, Alistair. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. But you... Oh, oh, I see the salt. He wants them to have him advertise it through the radio instead of the stupid TV. Who insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement? So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Well, this is not what we want to represent us. When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. Instead, you're mocking us. Nobody's gonna. Okay, so technically, uh, that means the pilot is only one week ago. Okay, okay. Want to come to a place that a powerful overlord like you thinks is a waste of time? What? If and you're filming a commercial, can I suggest you take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here? Angel, <laughs> you're a porn star. A famous porn star. <laughs> I have the horniest sinners knocking these walls down to get him. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. Why not? Sex sells, don't it? I swear, if you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. <laughs> Never going to happen. Angel, I appreciate you wanting to use your special skills to um, attract folks to the hotel, but I really don't want to exploit you in that way. <laughs> oh, please, baby. This body was made to be exploited. I got the arms. I got the stamina. I got the legs. I got the lung capacity. Oh, <laughs> I got the legs. The gag reflex, the holes, the chest fluff. Everyone thinks uh, of tits. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. I can keep going all night, baby. Angel Les, that's not going to work. Hello? Dad? Hey, I have a question. Oh, wow, wait. I, what? Okay. If Freaky Face over there is so powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me. I can. Why do you think I'm here? You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time if you wasn't forcing me? I like being forced. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What? You don't love being here with me, Whiskers? Call me Whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Kinky. Come on, keep talking dirty. <sighs> Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. I'm choosing to be here, and I think it's all stupid. We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent-free. Crack is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. Huh. Yes. Yes! <laughs> <sighs> What's going on? My dad just called. He said the leader of the <laughs> What the fuck was that face? Hold up. What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the angel army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But but the extermination just happened. <sighs> what could they want this soon after I can do this? Somehow Oh, this is where the song starts. I'll get heaven behind my plan. Charlie, hold on. There's just no way I could blow it. Not this once in a lifetime chance. It's just a meeting. To change their minds and touch their hearts or whatever angels have. This could be bad. It is not gonna go the way you want yeah. <laughs> at all. This could be swell. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. <laughs> she knows she's dancing. Uh, no. There's a warm, fuzzy feeling that walks through the air. Every street's so revealing, it's hard not to stare. It's a realm so appealing. Oh, God, I forgot about that scene. <laughs> Go 
Oh, now we get the full song too. Okay. Oh God! Everyone can be redeemed from the evil to the strength. Their bloodthirsty and deranged. I can hear all their stories, the lost and displaced, and I know that they're more of an acquired taste. But if I open the door and I give them a place at my has-been hotel, it'll be a happy day in hell. <laughs> What? What? I like how there's still murder behind her and everything. You can really tell they had so much fun with these animations. Hello? 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 Creepy. Oh. Okay. Also creepy. <laughs> uh, hello? Is anyone here? What's up? Oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Charlie. My dad asked me if I could meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Totally. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Ah, I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Good shit. Uh, so, wait. You aren't here? No. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. But it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is just so, blah, you know? <laughs> Ew. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting this type of personality with this character from the trailers. Was not expecting that. Right. So I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been working on that I really want to talk to you about. Hey, 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 slow down. We got time. How about we get to know each other a little? Mm, how about some lunch? You hungry? I got you. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I got you again, bitch. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Okay. Even even more, I, I, I don't think this meeting's gonna go well for her whatsoever. So Charlie's dealing with something very important. So while she's gone, we are making a new commercial. One that represents her vision and what we're doing here. So we need a camera. Alistair. A video camera. Uh. All right, let's do this. And action. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? Well, I've been a bad boy, and I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. So it tells me that's not part of the script. On the path to redemption. <sighs> well, you come. Oh, yes. To the right place. Cut. Okay, Angel, I need you to be less horny, if possible. And Hus, can you <laughs> not have a script in front of your face? I ain't no act. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could improv this shit, baby cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Hus, come on. 
So I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like, do you know who I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original dick. All dicks descend from me. You think you want drummer dick? No way. I'm the dick fucking master. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, then we fucked, and it was awesome. What'd you do this weekend? Wait, your name is Adam? Like the first man, Adam? That means you. Oh. That explains so much. I know, I fucking rock. Well. <laughs> oh my God, because of her, her mom. Oh, wow. All right, all right. Adam, sir. Mr. Adam, sir. Call me Dick Master. Adam, you seem like a smart, well, stand up guy. Uh huh. He's just a douche. And I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary, a, a genius. I mean, your words, babe. Who would really love to put his name on something? Fucking love putting my name on shit. Shit's the best. It's a solution <laughs> to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. No, our other biggest problem. Oh, uh, ugly people? Math. Global warming? No, wait, that's Earth's problem. Um... He's not gonna see what they do as a problem. Sorry, Nifty. 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 Your line is we have the cleanest rooms, okay? Got it. I'm ready. Actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh cut. <laughs> How was that? Well, Nifty, you actually have to say the line. So, let's roll again. Okay. Action. Okay, that has to be explained at some point. You're doing great, vagina. Cut. All right. Uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. Welcome to the Hatchin Hotel. <sighs> Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there. Hmm? Oh, you step in there. Well, why are you even here? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Like you are doing now. Good job. And here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that... I wouldn't try that, my dear. This uh. was made for radio. Only time where he definitely seems threatening to her so far. That's it. I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're going to make this work. Because it won't be so entertaining to watch over an empty hotel, will it, shit ass? Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Do you think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. Well, technically, technically already tried this once, and it, it didn't turn out so well. <sighs> Fine. Oh wow, what the All right, everyone. Let's make a fucking commercial. You know when you take her out for the Interesting. Yeah, okay. And she still expects you to pay the check, but you're like, "Hey, I thought you wanted equality." No, our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got a good 275 this year, sir. 275? Whoa! Badass! Awesome job, Danger Tits. Pound it. Uh, no. Not awesome. Those are my people. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. That must suck for you. <laughs> but these are... Man, he's such a fucking dick. Souls. Human souls, just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. They are not the same. They had their chance and they earned damnation. You're wrong. Sinners made mistakes, sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You. Uh, I don't believe that. I really think that. I know that. Yeah, I've never made a mistake in my fucking life. The only reason you're still here is because daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. How does that feel? to know how little you matter. 
Oops, almost out of time. Guess we should get into it. Oh, fuck! Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before, so here goes. <clears throat> I know Hell's population is out of control. Oh my god, she's doing a sped up version of this song? No, don't do this song again! It's not gonna work! It's a bad situation, it's taking a toll. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has been hotel. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Extermination! I know you guys fly down just to kill once a year, and it must be annoying to schlep all the way here. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. You can wave at your bear. The thing about it is I don't think they mind the trip, and I think they like it. That's the part you gotta probably try to tackle. Farewell. Save us all precious time. Okay. If what you're suggesting is letting them climb. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that the same voice? I recognize his voice now. Hold up. I'm up the ladder. Oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. Well, uh... Sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fates. Cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Have their chance to behave better now. They okay. Relax, babe, you're wasting your breath. Did I hear you imply that they don't deserve death? Are they winners? Are they sinners? Cause it's cut and dry. Well, actually, if you take a fair look. is fair, and eye for an eye. When all said and done, there's the question of fun. And for those of us with divine ordainment, extermination is entertainment. <laughs> I feel like they're just gonna kick her out now. His voice sounds so familiar. What? A whole year to slaughter those little cunts. I know it's just been a week, but we'll be back in six months. Oh, wait, can you? Oh, they sped it up so every six months now. Charlie, how did it go? Did they listen? Oh, uh, they sure did hear it, but, um... Oh, come here. We have something exciting to show you. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. I pulled a few limbs, too. <laughs> Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah, one of my better performances, if I do say so myself. That's... That's amazing. Shh, it's starting. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel... Oh, oh, oh. Breaking news in hell today. We have just received word from the Heaven Embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. Do you know what that means, Tom? No, what does that mean, Katie? It means Wow, they really have a different voice. We're all royally fucked. Wait, what? Why? We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. We should just go down there now and destroy them. No, no. We can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Oh. Oh, so there's more behind the reasoning. I just thought they were being assholes. But legit, they have fear if since they were able to, they, someone was able to kill one of them. Interesting. Anyways, uh, I will be trying to react to the uh, next couple episodes uh, sometime soon. And I'm going to see if there's anything at the very end. I don't think there is. Okay.
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and everything, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I don't know how often I'll be able to post these reactions. I will be doing my best so you guys can get them as quickly as possible. But depending on time and everything like that, it just depends. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe. And until next time, later.